In today's video, we're opening one of Yu-Gi-Oh's original booster boxes, First Edition Ancient Sanctuary. What's up guys, we're back with another epic old school opening. Today we have a first edition box from 2004. And this is a pretty nostalgic box for me, not because of back in the day, but because of when I started doing openings on my channel, this was the very first old school box that I ever opened on the channel. And when I opened it, it was only worth like 200, 250. It's worth a little bit more than that at this point, but I thought it was gonna be the only old school box I would ever open. I didn't think we'd open so many old school boxes over the years, it's been super fun, but opening this one up always has that special connection for me. And this is not actually my box. I was at Collecticon, I was vending. You guys have seen videos from my Collecticon stuff recently. And someone walked up to Peter, AKA Petty Party's booth right next to me, he was to my left, and bought this box from him, and then immediately handed it to me and said, hey, you wanna open this on your channel? And I was like, let's go for it, that sounds great. So I was an innocent bystander, I, this was forced upon me, okay? I didn't have a choice, but I'm super pumped. This is gonna be fun, so what an opportunity, open an old school box. This is for Dakota, who is the guy who bought that box. So Dakota. Dakota, good luck with your pulls. I'm hoping we get the Econ, the enemy controller, because that is one of the hardest cards to grade in all of Yu-Gi-Oh! old school cards. Uh, Gezi TCG was his last PSA 10 out of all 243 original hollows. So let's open it up. Let's see if we can pull one. But before that, we have a giveaway. I decided I'd give away three Ancient Sanctuary First Edition Ultras, which I apparently just had on me. Uh, Blowback Dragon, I was looking through my giveaway stuff and I was like, wait, we have three Ancient Sanctuary Ultis, or Ultras, I should say. Very cool, Blowback's one of the coolest ones. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card from Ancient Sanctuary. And do you remember this set coming out back in the day? Hold up. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. I wanted to let you guys know that we have two box breaks available right now. We have a first edition Magic Ruler. This is the retail version 36 pack. We have sold over half the packs, but they are available right now, as well as a Rise of Destiny first edition hobby box has a very few packs left. So go check this one out. If you guys want to buy a pack, you can become a special footage member on YouTube and you will get 15 to $30 off, depending on which box it is. And it only costs you $8 a month. So if you buy one pack, you automatically double or even quadruple your money right back. So if you guys are interested in that, click the link down below, go to my website, ruxin34.com, and we will open them live on YouTube like we normally do. Let's get back to the video. All right, here we go. Let's get Dakota something good. We are gonna crack the seal of an old school 2004 box. It has been done, something that just is absolutely painful for seal collectors. Unless you own this box and you're like, yay, now it's more expensive for me, the one that I own. Yeah, you're welcome then. All right, let's look inside. These packs are a interesting like mix of like yellow and light brown or something. I don't even know, like tan, I guess. So we're gonna do a little shuffling here just because we want to keep it interesting. These feel so nice. These old school packs have a really good classic feel to them. We have the 24 packs out. Here we go. Let's start with the first one. First edition inside. I'm trying to think, what are the cool commons? Uh, I don't think there's any like big money commons, but there are some cool ones like the uh, the sarcophaguses are short printed, I think. Uh, at least maybe two and three. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, Zerato is the cover card. That's a cool one. We have Pharaonic Protector. I think there's a, a card named after Pharaoh's Servant in here, I think. We have a uh, Desert Sunlight, Spirit Collar, Blessings of the Nile, Goblin Thief, 2,000 Needles, Order to Smash. That's a pretty cool card. The Kickman is at Hitmon Lee, and the Sanctuary in the Sky. That's a pretty nice one. How's the condition? Centering looks pretty good. Back looks very clean. Okay, we're gonna have to get these nice and prepared to uh, potentially great because these are first dead supers. So they're gonna have some value, even if they're not from like the best old school set ever. They're definitely gonna hold some value. I'm gonna be putting the, I'm gonna put these in card savers for him just in case he wants to uh, submit them and get them graded. Whether if he doesn't, then you know, safe shipping. All right, good start. A hollow right off the bat. Ancient Sanctuary first edition. Let's see if we can pull something else amazing. Shout out to Dakota for allowing me to open these up. It's very cool. Okay, I thought there was like, I didn't know what that was. It's yugiocard.com from the back. One, two, three, four. Let's see if we can get some cool cards. We have Mystical Shine Ball, that's pretty cool. Delta Attacker, nice. The level limit area B, is that the good one? The field or remain in defense position as long as this card. This is the good one. Level four or higher. Oh, level four or higher. Wait, never mind. Wait, maybe that is the one. Or is it A that's good? I think that seems like it's pretty good. Switches them all to defense. Mean Scorpion, but I guess, yeah, I think it is the good one. 2,000 Needles, we have Order to Smash. The Kickman Hitmon Lee again. We have a Go Giga, a Giga Giko. That's a pretty cool one. 
And Draining Shield, a classic, uh, classic Weevil card back in the day in Duel Links for all those uh, those burn decks, you know, because they just keep adding life points, you keep losing life points. It was really annoying. All right, we got the Kick Fire. I used a Kick Fire deck one time back in the day. One, two, three, four. Well, we get some good. We have Beckoning Light. That's a hey. That's a what is it? Light Sworn card. That's actually pretty good. Vampire Lady, Enchanted Fitting Room, Sand Gambla. He be gambling. We have the Backfire. Three Hump Lakuda. Okay. All right. An interesting guy. He really needs some water, I think. Uh, Earthquake. And we have a Pharaoh Servant. There it is. That's the one. Pharaoh Servant. An apparition of those said to formerly serve the Pharaoh. It has tremendous loyalty that does not waver. Very nice. And a spell? Economics. Just a rare there. So we are one for three so far. We got some economics in the chat. Okay, very nice. Who's, who's getting an economics degree? I don't know. I didn't, but... <laughs> Okay, here we go. I wonder if there's a spell economics de degree these days. Maybe at um, the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, potentially. One, two, three, four. Blessings of the Nile. Legendary Jujitsu Master. This is a crazy card. Uh, Beckoning Light for Light Sworn. The, the KA2 Death Scissors. Warrior of Zera. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. And Emissary of the Oasis. And... Ah! Agent of Wisdom Mercury. All right. The agents are in this set. So an early archetype for Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, there wasn't a ton of archetypes back then. So the agents are a very early one. Some of them are high rarity. You know, some are like ultras and then some are rares and stuff like that. Let's go. Armor break. One, two, three, four. Whoa, what is going on with the back of these? Look at this. You guys see all these dings? That's not good. Hopefully the, the back card doesn't have anything. We have the Rocket Jumper, Rux and Spe There it is, the Night of Salem. How could I forget? Monster Gate's a great card for those Monster Gate decks in GOAT format. So that's actually pretty solid. Night of Salem. Used to be like three bucks guaranteed. I don't know if it's had. Has it had a reprint? I don't think it has. Door of Fate. Armor Break. I think that was one of the ones with a ding on it, unfortunately. Judgment of the Desert. Absorbing Kid from the Sky. Goblin Thief. And we have a Stone Statue of the Aztecs. I feel like I get this one every time I open Ancient Sanctuary. But the back, how does it look? Pretty good. Pretty good. Stone Statue of the Aztecs. Maybe you can grade some of these potentially. Maybe 9 or 10. Definitely 9 or 10s, I would say. Maybe a 10. Second foil of the day. Not bad. We're looking at 6 or 7 total foils. So hopefully 7. Obviously, we want to get 1. That one extra, maybe a secret rare, potentially two ultras. Secret three ultras is best case scenario for these old school 24 pack. It rarely, really happens, but when it does, it's pretty nice. Can we get an ultra rare? So far, two supers. We're regenerating mommy. That's her super rux and special weapon change. I skipped two cards. Protector of the Sanctuary. Mermaid Knight. Order to Smash. The Kickman. Hitmon Lee. We got Sword of Soul Leader. Is it next? No. Nubian Guard. And the first sarcophagus. There it is. So this is not a short print, the first sarcophagus, because it's a hollow. But then the next two are short print commons, I believe. I like how the hollow is just like the, the coffin thing. It's very cool. All right, third one. They all seem to be pretty centered from what I can tell. I didn't really take a look at the back, did I? Let me see. Back has, oh yeah, it has some scuffing on there. So this one might be uh a nine for sure so probably not one you want to send in because it's not a high value card unless if it gets a 10 it's decent but uh the nine is definitely gonna hurt okay three hollows that's two in a row right there that's not bad will we get a secret or an ultra though because that's three straight supers i mean not straight but three total supers two straight there let's go order to smash one two three four let's see what we can get we have the desert sunlight spirit collar blessings of the nile legendary jujitsu master order to smash him on Lee, Sword of Soul Eater. This is a small set, obviously. Nubian Guard, because we are seeing a lot of the same cards. Venus, that's a very good rare right there in terms of playability. That card was, guess where it was good in? I'm not going to say. Probably somewhere besides Duel Links, but you know. Most of my experience is Duel Links and then a little bit of Master Duel. Playground Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, four. What else can we grab? Can we get more Night Assailants? Elephant. Let's get something good. Labyrinth of Nightmare. So there's a Labyrinth of Nightmare card and a Pharaoh Servant card in here. That's crazy. Judgment of the Desert. Absorbing Kid, Goblin Thief, 2,000 Needles, and the Talisman of Spell Ceiling. All right, Dakota, so far three foils. Not bad, but we are looking for something big for you. Burst Stream of Destruction, Econ, Dark Magic Attack, Archlord Zerato. These are all really cool ones that we would love. We have the Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer of the Forest, Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, 
Aswan Apparition, Judgment of the Desert, Absorbing Kit from the Sky, Desert Tapir. This is a pretty popular card, I think. And the Theban Nightmare. This is a card I really remember. Just the artwork is very nostalgic for me. Throwback to my very first Ancient Sanctuary opening. What I pulled? Dark Magic Attack. It was like towards the very end. And then the first card was. First Ultra, I think, was the. Uh, Spirit of the Pharaoh, I believe. Saying, yeah, but I did not get a secret. Wall of Revealing Light, we have Rocket Jumper, Light of Judgment, Mystic Walk, Emissary of the Oasis, Micro Ray, Disc Fighter, Legacy Hunter. I didn't realize that was a super coming or a hollow coming up or a the hollow slot is what I'm trying to say. Legacy Hunter, that is a nice super. It's the back. It does have a little bit of scuffing right there, but it's not terrible. Beautiful. That's four supers in the first half. Very interesting. Uh, that means probably no chance at three ultras unless we don't get a secret, which we do want a secret. Oh, let's find out. We have a monster gate for goat format. Night Assailant. Those are right next to each other. That's a good little duo right there. Dora of Fate. We have Mystical Shine Ball, Atomic Firefly, Solar Flare Dragon. It's classic. Law of the Normal. We have a Metal Armored Bug. And we have a... Oh, a Burst Stream of Destruction. The Blue Eyes White Dragon Ultra Rare. That is one of the best cards in the set. That is beautiful. Back looks pretty clean. There might be a little bit of scuffing maybe in the very middle, but not too much. Centering looks pretty good. Wow, maybe a PSA 10 potential card right there. And that is a beautiful hollow. Look how it, the burst stream is the hollow part. That's so cool. And then the eye of the blue eyes. Well-designed card right there. Dakota, I think we'll be happy with this box so far. I mean, burst stream is one of the better cards for sure. We have legendary jujitsu master. Beckoning Light, Ruxin Special, Vampire Lady, Chanted Fitting Room, Sword of the Soul Eater. We have a Nubian Guard, Kozaki. I haven't seen him yet. I think he might be a short print. There's a lot of short prints in this set. Backfire. And finally, we have a Talisman of Trap Ceiling. We did not pull a sixth foil in the front. Halfway through, and we have pulled a lot of cards already. It's been a very good opening. If we can get Burst Stream and Dark Magic Attack in the same box, that would be absolutely absurd. Let's see what we can do here. Ninjutsu Art of Transformation, Arcane Archer. Can we get a secret? Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Backfire, the second sarcophagus, short print, Lakuta, Earthquake, and we have... Oh, the Agent of Judgment, Saturn. Another Ultra. Wow, we have pulled six foils already. Interesting box. Is this going to go crazy at the end or something? Or is this just going to taper off? Very beautiful card right there. More Agents have been pulled. Six foils, two Ultras, four Supers. That's normally what you get. And then maybe a Secret. So we're open for that Secret Rare. Let's see what we can do. Unless we got a fourth Ultra. That'd be pretty cool as well. Can we get Dakota something crazy? Dust Barrier. We have Sonic Jammer. Sunlight, Spirit Collar, Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal, Metal Armored Bug, Solar Ray, and a Triangle Power. Look at that little dude. I think his name is Gigabyte or something like that. I mean, this is back in the day. He's named after uh, some computer storage, huh? One, two, three, four. We need a secret. Come on. Protector of the Sanctuary. Order to Charge. That's a pretty fun card. Mermaid Knight, Nijitsu Art, Aswan Apparition, Armor Break. Judgment of Desert, Absorbing Kit from the Sky, and the Agent of Wisdom, Mercury. More Agents. Where's that secret rare? Labyrinth of Nightmare, the booster box, Regenerating Mummy. Weapon Change, Protector of the Sanctuary, Soul of the Soul Eater, we have New Bean Guard, Backfire, Three Up Lakuta, and King of the Swamp. This was money for a while, thanks to, what, what was it in? Tier Laments, I guess? I don't remember. But it, it went up pretty crazy for a while, that first edition version. Next pack, one, two, three, four. Come on, Secret Rare, we need one. Regenerating Mummy, Weapon Change, Protector of the Sanctuary, Mermaid Knight, Emissary of the Oasis, Oasis the Oasis. Micro Ray, we have the Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal, and the Special Hurricane. Still looking for that secret. Still got several packs left. Hopefully there is a secret in one of these booster packs. Or even a fourth Ultra would be cool. Vampire Lady, we have Enchanted Fitting Room. Rocks and Special, Sand Gambler. Wall of Revealing Light, I think just came off the list, or it's like at two now or something. I think it's off the list. Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal, it was at one for a long time. Apparition. And Grave Protector, okay. One, two, three, four, come on. We have a Fiend Scorpion, Labyrinth, Regenerating Mummy, Weapon Change, Mystic Walk, Emissary of the Oasis, Disc Fighter, Soul Reversal, and Triangle Power. Gigabytes back. We're down to, I think, four or five packs. Five packs, it seems. Five packs left for Dakota. Can we bless him with something epic? We have Delta Attacker. We have Elephant Statue of Disaster. Fiend Scorpion. Labyrinth of Nightmare at it again. Where's that Gemini Elf? Solar Ray. Goblin King. Mystic Walk. 
third sarcophagus, you've got all the sarcophaguses, and double cost and attribute your dark magician for one tribute. Wow, this is gonna be an interesting box if this just goes like 11 straight or 10 straight with nothing to end. Hopefully that doesn't happen. One, two, three, four. Hopefully it does it. Legendary, I thought I saw like a starlight rare for a second. That, that was weird. Light, vampire lady, fitting. Man throw tro, tree, man throw tro, there we go. Metal armor bug, solar ray, goblin king. Soul resurrection, not a bad card actually for resurrecting normal types, or normal, not types, that's Pokemon. Normal monsters. Three left, one, two, three, still a chance for that secret. Where is it? Night of Sail, that's a good common. Uh, Dora, that's a play set of Night of Sail. Shine ball's cool. Armored bug, solar ray, warrior of Zera, goblin king. Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. This also went up to crazy money for like, it was like three years ago, but for a while it was like a $7 rare, I think. Two left, come on, secret. Two packs left. Let's get Dakota that secret rare. Will it be in here? Pharaonic Protector, Desert Sunlight, Spirit Caller, Blessings of the Nile, Piranha Army, Human Wave Tactics, Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal, and the Thousand Energy. I don't even remember that card. That's like a Pharaoh card, very cool. Oh, and the final pack, guys. Send us some luck, guys. We need some luck in the comments, okay? We need to pull something crazy. Wall of Revealing Light, it's a good card. We need to get that secret rare in the final pack. Rocket Jumper, Gigabyte, Monster Gate for Goat. We got a Prawn Army, it wasn't next to the Nine Assailant at that time. Human Wave Tactics, we have Solar Flare Dragon, Law of the Normal, our last card, our last chance. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again to Dakota for letting me open this box. He didn't send it to me, he handed it to me. Here we go. Oh, and it kind of ends with the cursed Yu-Gi-Oh card, Avatar of the Bot. That is one of the most cursed cards I've ever seen in honor of the Bot Collection coming out. So thanks again, Dakota, for sending us this box. It was super fun. I was glad you had a pretty awesome pull in here. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, American Doyster, Supreme Stage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr., Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.